Well, folks, we're back with some more Renix PSALE absolute pristine content. The most polished, highly edited, high production value content that you will find on this platform guaranteed or double your money back. Today, guess what we're doing? We're opening up more packages of things that I have bought from the lovely viewers of this channel, AKA you guys. Uh, and this one is a little, little package that says open last, enjoy personal collection item from Dan. So in advance, thank you so much, Dan. I really hope, Spanky, if I don't remember to open this last. Uh, I think you should open it now. Well, I'll open it. I wanna, I want, he, it says open last, so I can't, I can't open it now. That would be not last. That'd be the opposite of last. Oh, that's a good point. So in this package, we've got a good amount of stuff that I, I kind of vaguely remember what the deal was. Look at this. Look at this absolute, absolute weapon that you can apparently attach to your PlayStation 3, maybe? PlayStation 3 assault weapon. Uh, and then in here, sorry in advance for the sound, I know this is disproportionately loud on camera, but there's not, there's not much else to do about it. Oh, why hello. Look what just fell out of that little bundle. We've got some PS3 controllers and accessories. I know these were uh, tested on camera ahead of time. Normally, I do not like buying uh, these kinds of controllers. PS2 controllers, PS3, they just, they break a lot. And I don't wanna like have to plug in a Call of Duty or something like that or some game where I can test every button, blah, blah, blah. But the seller was insistent. He sent me some clips of testing that and all this stuff. So uh, I did buy these. And then in these smaller boxes, oh, hello, my little friend. This is the kind of stuff that I do like buying and you guys know how much I like buying it. It's guess what? A handheld console, a 3DS no less, original 3DS now. What isn't ideal about this is the scratching on top. That's not as much what I like to see because it makes me a little bit, eh, can I sell that in very good condition? I don't really know, but. Um, nonetheless, it's great to be able to buy handhelds. Uh, so thank you in advance. Well, not really in advance at this point because we're halfway through. Thanks to Dan for sending me this and for thinking of me with all this stuff. Looks like this is a charger, a Dream Gear charger for some PS3 Move controllers. Uh-oh, we've got his twin brother in a different box. You guys probably thought I just opened up the same box there, but I didn't. Another fairly deep scratch there. That's not the best, but I would guess these were probably well pictured ahead of time. And I've just forgotten because my brain is small. We've got, uh-oh, my hopes are up with this third box. Okay, another handheld, not quite the exact same, but we've got a Game Boy Advance. What do you, oh, that's interesting, huh. Uh, so there's a replacement cap here, but it almost looks like a different, is this even gonna work? Yeah, it, it just, it kinda, I see why it's, goodbye, it's floppy. But I think in my drawer full of goodies over there, in fact, come on, come on, let's take a little journey to the other side of the office here, which you guys never get to see. This is my little sort of messy, incomplete storage compartment of loveliness over here. Got a bunch of these little, these things are like nine bucks from Walmart and they work super well now that I've labeled them at four storing all the different little cords and caps and accessories and nonsense that you need to sell handhelds really well. So for example, we've got a bin full of replacement Wii remote caps and we've got a little drawer full of micro USBs. This is super useful and really streamlines my process because the last thing that you wanna to have to do as a reseller is to get a Game Boy Advance in that's in really nice condition that you wanna be able to sell on Amazon or eBay or whatever for maximum money and look at the back and oh my gosh, now I've gotta to go to eBay, I've gotta figure out what, I feel like the camera's like up here. Am I like kind of in the middle of the frame? Yeah. Okay, cool. Folks, that's what you get here at Renix P Sale. You, you get the director's commentary and the original video all in one. Um, the, if you get this in, the last thing that you wanna have to do is go out and buy one of these, wait for it to get shipped to you and then list it. Instead, it's much better ahead of time to buy in bulk and then be able to go into your Game Boy cap drawer right here, pick out the exact correct, uh, that looks like that's for Game Boy colors. Here we go. The exact correct cap for the color of the specific handheld you need and just go from there. What else do we have here? Wii caps, which you always need because they always get lost. Every kind of stuff, get, get a close up of this, you're gonna trip here, of this stylus drawer. We've got DSXL, 3DS, DS Lite, new 3DS XL, 
3DS, every freaking iteration of this console, which for some reason Nintendo decided to put a different charger with every single one, uh, we've got them all in here and they're ready to go. Highly recommend that. Anyway, back over to our task at hand here. Should have actually just kept that and put it on. I don't know why I didn't. We've got a PS3 camera. These things have been doing well for me. And what looks like probably, probably the last thing. Oh, I see. Oh, and we've got some games as well. Look at that. Uh, Minecraft. And we're going to cover that. We're going to censor that a little bit. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry with a couple of, uh, you know, 2005 animated ladies on there. For all the kids at home, we're going to let you uh, let you ruin your innocence on your own time. We've also got a couple of PS3 Move controllers, which will fit very nicely into our dock that we just got, just like, just like that. Would you look at that? It's like magic. And some navigation controllers as well. You guys know this is nothing new for you if you watch the channel. I buy these at video game stores all the time because they happen to do well for me on Amazon and that's pretty much the end of that story. Except it's not the end of this package's story because we still have this little thing open last from Dan. So thanks again to Dan and if you guys have any uh, stuff that you would like to sell, feel free to reach out in via Instagram or email. Both of those should be in the description below. We've got, whoa, would you look at this? This big old, this looks like it would have been almost like in a magazine or something of uh, some sort of Metroid promotional, I don't really know, uh, back of it. Oh, oh wow, preview DVD. Check this out, looks like it's gonna come out here. Wow, so it's not even a GameCube sized disc. This is a full DVD, GameCube preview DVD. That's so fantastic, I've never seen this before. This is just a really cool little promo item and a very thoughtful gift from our faithful viewer, Dan. So uh, appreciate your support so much. I'm gonna put this right up here. Honestly, the GameCube shelf, it's it is incredibly crowded at the moment. Uh, so I do apologize for that. But for now, we're just gonna stick it right in here with Cube of War and Gotcha Force. Samus is just kind of peeking out, mm. peeking her little head out right there. And at some point I'll find some good spot for it. But uh, thank you very much for that thoughtful gift. Really appreciate it. Is you, are you zoomed in to the like one or is it 0.5? One. You might wanna go 0.5, it might be easier for you. Okay. Spencer's like backed up all the way into the desk and is like halfway sitting on it. Uh, or, you know, whatever's easier for you. Up next, this is like kind of the main event actually of this video, which I will probably, you've, you've probably clicked for this. Let's be honest. This is get, probably gonna be the Taiwan thumbnail because this is an entire box, I believe, that's almost exclusively Switch stuff. Uh, you can see, I'll give you a little glimpse here. All Switch games here, all Switch games here. Well, is that Switch? Crap. Maybe this is the only thing that's Switch games and these. this actually looks like PSP. So maybe it's more of a mixed box than I really hoped, but there are hopefully going to be games that stay in the collection in this box. I have no idea, because again, I've forgotten what's in here. But this is from our friend Julio, who has actually sent us a couple of our recent packages that we have been unboxing on this channel. And the first one, whoa, this is a reshelled Game Boy Color that is white. White like, white like whipped cream. Okay, so we're gonna have to Here we go. This feels like a really nice reshell as well. And in the back, we've got a, uh, looks like definitely a reproduction of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Uh, so I'll have to double check the invoice and make sure that that wasn't a part of the actual deal. But uh, the shell on this is looking really nice. Turn it on here. Oh yeah, there's no batteries in it. What did I think was gonna happen? So that's always great. Of course, we love handhelds of any shape and size. Then right here, We've got a big old stack of PSP games. We've got uh, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. We've got uh, East 7, which I, I don't even recognize this game. I don't know if I've ever flipped this one before. That's really cool to see. You love seeing complete PSP stuff, no matter what it is. Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy Crisis Core, 
and secret agent clank so definitely uh this person julio he knows what he likes when it comes to psp games and i respect that up next we've got ooh, what's the prediction here well nintendo ds would probably be the best prediction because we have a gold so this is one thing i actually was inspecting uh, the handhelds from a recent video more closely. And I do believe that these, in fact, this in fact is not an original, not an original Hyrule Edition DS Lite. Why do you say that, Caleb? It looks, it looks very similar. Well, a few reasons. One is you can see by the buttons here, if you look closely there, I'm not sure if that's gonna come up on the camera there, Spanky, but there's a little, a, a little space between the buttons and the edge of the, um, plastic there, which is a little bit of a giveaway. The font on them is actually a little bit different than you would normally see. And you can see they're a little bit wobbly too. Uh, the font on the start and select are a little bit different. And there's a little bit of like a, like an impression there that isn't normally there. They're also kind of wobbly. It's a bunch of small details. Another thing I noticed is there's a line in the middle of the stylus here that isn't normally there. So all these things as I was looking at it kind of started to add up and I was like, man, this just, this looks like basically a reshell. I don't know if the innards of this are original or not, or if this is just like a total fabrication, I don't know. I don't think that Julio knew that uh, this was not an original. And see, here's another thing. You can actually see when you take out the, the slot cap, that there's some weird paint stuff on it, right? Like this little strip down here is gold and the rest of the the rest of it isn't, except for the top, which is actually the part that is showing. And then you can kind of see here where the paint, like the paint has gone into the crevice, but it hasn't reached the rest of the plastic down here. Just, just a variety of slight wonkiness about this. Uh, so I reached out to him. I don't think he had any idea. So we're just adjusting the invoice accordingly. It also, another small sign, is that it has one of these like 501 micro SD card cartridge, like bootleg cartridges in here. Um, so this was likely just some sort of a mom and pop vendor that was selling these and maybe or maybe not was honest that they are fabrications rather than originals. Not a huge deal. I always assume the best when I'm buying from people, but also is the good, you know, a good thing to catch because a fabrication of this really isn't worth hardly anything. Like maybe a little bit, but um, it's not the kind of thing that I would sell with confidence because I don't know that the hardware in there is integral. Uh, so long story short, made some small adjustments on that invoice, not a huge deal, but kind of an interesting thing and something that might be helpful for you guys to be on the lookout for when you're making purchases, whether it's in person or online or whatever. Then here we've got a PSP, which I also will have to apply a similar level of scrutiny to whenever I do inspect it right now. Again, it's in multiple layers of saran wrap, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Uh, but I will bother with these good old Switch games because I'm very intrigued what we might find in here. Okay, so I'm seeing right off the bat, we've already got at least one limited run Switch game. Uh, so this first one, uh, the PAL version, Atelier Ryza 2. Not really something that I'm super interested in, but also not a game that you find too much. So that's kind of cool. We got Metopia, the looks like uh, Latin American version, which I believe should, yeah, there's even English on the back here. So I'm sure there's an English mode. The Switch is region free, so I know it can play it. Oh, this one I'm excited for. Yeah, this is exciting. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast and Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy on the Switch, limited run, double pack. That's just, that's super cool. Absolutely the kind of thing that I will be keeping. Uh, very exciting. That's good. That's gonna be like my favorite part of this whole thing. We've got, what is this? Wild at Heart? And on the cover, there's, a, there's an arcade cabinet in the forest. I am very intrigued with that. It says, explore a mysterious world with your own herd of magical spritelings. Okay, well, that's what the back looks like. I am just as intrigued as you are. I may end up popping this in tonight. Very interested in what this ends up being. We'll put that in the keep pile. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Oh yeah. I can't actually remember if I have this or not. Did you play this on the PS2? Um, yes. <laughs> Had to remember there for a little bit. Um, Eastward. I've actually heard good things about this game. Oh, it's all in Japanese on the back though. 
I'll have to see if there's an English mode for this. I would guess there probably is. Cool art though, nonetheless. So that'll be a keeper. Uh, Atelier Ryza Regular and Panzer Dragoon Limited Run. This is one that I believe I do have already. Although if I'm not mistaken, my copy may actually be sealed, which would be great because I was looking for a playable copy anyway. So I may keep this one, sell the sealed one and be good to go. Beyond that, we've got this one last little thing, which looks like it may hold a couple more potentially bootleg cartridges. We will see for the uh, original Game Boy looks like. Okay, so here's what, here's what we're looking at. The first one is a Metal Gear game, Metal Gear Solid, only for the Game Boy Color with this lovely blue shell. Can't say that I don't like the look of it, but it definitely is not an original. And last but not least, we do have the corresponding Zelda Oracle of Ages, also bootleg. So a very interesting box. Interesting unboxing experience for sure. We've got a few games here, Eastward, The Wild at Heart, and the Star Wars Double Pack that I'm definitely going to be keeping. We've got a couple games slash systems that we're gonna have to make invoice adjustments on, and then a bunch of other just miscellaneous good stuff to throw on Amazon and flip and be happy. So folks, I think I speak for Spanky and myself when I say you're welcome for this flawless level of entertainment, easily top tier of the entire platform. Call PewDiePie, call Mr. Beast, let him know. Renix P sale is here and we will see you guys at some undetermined and infrequent interval, which uh, could be tomorrow, could be a week, could be three months from now before you see another one. That's part of the fun of the channel. Goodbye.